So, uh, hi guys. I, my name is Anna Belintseva. I moved to Canada in 1997 and I moved from Russia. And uh, when I came to, uh, obviously I was a teacher and principal in Russia and I was a teacher of English and German. And I had to start from scratch in Canada because English is not a profession here. <laughs> it's a way of life. Would you agree? So yes, and plus with two children and then another one was born, uh, I start to look and thinking, what should I do? And one of the, actually I was selling my first house and the real estate agent, Monica Burroughs, she told me, Anna, you should maybe try the real estate. And it was in, nine, in 2002. So I've got my license. I was so excited. I joined the local company, which was Prudential. Those who remember Prudential was Jackie McCacken. And uh, yeah, uh, can you just move the second? Sarah, the second one? Yeah. Yes, yes. And so <clears throat> I was new in real estate. I was new in Georgina. I moved to Georgina right in 1998. And I was thinking, what should I do? I talked to local agents and I found out because it's a small community and it, the, at that time, Georgina was only 17,500 people, the whole Georgina from Keswick all the way to uh, Port Bolster. And um, obviously I found out that um, we had already four real estate companies here. The agents were locals. They were, you know, everybody knew them. And every time I tried to approach uh, somebody even in the neighbors or, or in the store or even my friends they made here right so there were no friends nothing just family me my husband and three children and i found out that it's already like this spot was taken everybody said, oh no no i will go with wayne winch or i will go kathy forge i will do this and that and that and i decided well what should i do what's next what should i do because it looks like those who live here, they have their own agents. And it was like old style. You know the agent for years and you sell with them and you uh, buy with them and uh, no chance. And I decided that, number one, I started to send letters to owners of cottages and vacant land because there was tons of them at those years. And then the other thing was like, okay, what else should I do to find the leads and clients? Sarah. Okay. So I started to call. And right now my accent is a bit better. At that time, it was really heavy accent. That's why when I start to do the cold calling, lots of people, they couldn't understand what I'm talking about. They became frustrated. They felt uncomfortable. And uh, thanks God they did not swear on me. Uh, they said, like, sorry, thank you, whatever. We have a, our own agent. Okay, then the time comes, okay, uh, they don't understand me, but I have a pretty face and I love to smile. So maybe what I should do, no, not right now, right? It was 20 years ago, remember? <laughs> maybe what I should do, I should uh, start door knocking. Guys, you won't believe me. First time I decided to do that, I was like sweating. My hands were sweating. <laughs> so I decided I will go. First, I will try my neighbor. Because some of the people live, live next to you, so they know you already. And uh, what I had, I had my car. And I knocked the door and I was doing like that. Oh, hi, I'm Anna with the credential at that time. Anna Bilin, so I'm your neighbor. And just wanted to introduce myself and tell you that I'm also a real estate agent. So if you need my help or if you have somebody who is planning to buy here or sell here, please call me. Here is my uh, card. And it wasn't that scary. I understood that the barrier was inside of me. The people were friendly. The only person that was rude to me when I just asked him, I am the owner of the house. And he told me, it's not your freaking business and slammed the door. And I said, you have a good day too. And later I found out that he's a tenant, not even the owner. <laughs> Maybe that's why. So <clears throat> plus, nobody was doing this. 
nobody, local agents, they were successful enough having their permanent clients, loyal clients. And when I started to door knock, I introduced myself and also I was introducing my company. So I was like advertising the company too. And um, what happened, a couple of the listings, I've got calls of a couple of the listings. One of them was actually, she was a secretary in Royal LePage, a new market company. She worked there and she called me, I would like you to come and do the CMA market evaluation of our house at Harvard. Um, and um, I said, okay, no problem. When I came, I said, like, why did you choose me? Because you will work there. That Anna, you were the only one we always see on these streets. You are the only one knocking the doors no matter what. Spring, fall, winter. Hmm. That's how I start to get <clears throat> my clientele. Plus, when you door knock, after that, going shopping to Food Basics or, you know, Sobbies, uh, all of a sudden, people say, oh, hi, Anna. And I said, hi, do I know you? Yeah, you knocked my door a couple months ago. You know, that's how people, in, in uh, same with the banks. Okay. <clears throat> um, when I start to get the buyers, sorry, my morning voice. When I start to get buyers, I was also showing them, guys, you know what? If you don't like this house, Tell me what what exactly what you what exactly you want, where exactly you want. We drove by the streets. The town was pretty small. Oh, well, I like this one. Uh, okay, you know what? I will door knock today in the evening when they're back from work and they ask if they're planning to sell. If not, uh, should it? So you want bungalow, right? Yes, three bedrooms, perfect. Is garage important? Yes, good. And then I would just door knock and whole street. We did not have any restrictions at that time to knock the door. Now it's different and you know that, right guys? Um, yeah. Next, please. <clears throat> Huge mistake that I made at the beginning, not being organized, was that I did not search and look and um, did market analysis for myself. So I did not check what was sold six months ago, or I did not check what expired, because it's like the sales were longer and there were less sales, right? So I did not even know that there is a house on sale there, uh, which I noticed last minute. But when I start to door knock in the farming area, and I had a question, oh, by the way, how much that one sold for? Boom. Anna, are you an expert here? You said you're professional working here. How much did that sell for? Well, you know what? I will have to find out and let you know. Oh, there's another one for sale. How much is that for sale? Another mistake, right? So what I started to do, and I, uh, before even going to Bornock, I choose the area, and then I do the market analysis in the last, at least in the last six months. And not only on the MLS, also Geo Warehouse helps. Because when you pull, uh, pull comparables from Geo, you will see there are some sales which are private sales, right? We don't even know about that, but the neighbors may know because it's their neighbor, right? And so I pull out all this information. And when they ask it, I have it back with me. When they ask it, they just say, well, this one is like right now, I don't give the, uh, the exact numbers. I, I would just say right now, well, listen, it was listed at 995 and it was sold close to uh, asking price. I cannot tell you exact numbers because I'm licensed and I'm responsible, um, you know, by my license or it's over asking price. I don't give that the exact number because and if you're interested, you can find it on Zolo. Right. There are some some sites. <clears throat> So, uh, be prepared uh, marketing materials uh, we have printing companies that you can go and order and like in two three days you would have these cards right? when you door knocking you have those cards to leave I will show you at the end how it looks like our team has this kind of card too as I said choose the area what would be the reason of uh, choosing the area 
In our case, we have a huge company. When Jennifer Jones, like how many agents now? More than 30. So I just look for just sold, just listed, or open houses. <laughs> just sold, it's good. You don't, the uh, statistics shows that after just sold, you knock 30 doors, five, five on one side of the house and 10 across the road. They usually, oh, sorry, 10, 10, and 10. Usually, you know, somebody is thinking about it. Maybe not right now, but at least maybe next year, on the six months, or when the market's getting better. The same with the just listing, because when you go to just listing and use the scripts, guys, that's what is so important to use and know the scripts. For just sold, just listed, or open house. Then before going, uh, starting door knocking, I drive around the area because we know there are more uh, lots of signs today uh, coming soon or exclusive, right? So we want to know this information. And what I do, I call the agent right away. Hi, I'm in a building. So from this, I have a client. He just called me driving by and told me that there is a listing on this street. Can you please provide me some details? And, oh, yes, it's coming to the market like in three days. It's a three bedroom, four bed bathrooms, the swimming pool, all this information I get and take a note. In this case, when I door knock, because people also interested. Oh, it says there's a sign coming soon. Do you know how much it will be selling for? Oh, yes, I know it. it's, it's going to be listed at this time. Right. Next, please. <clears throat> So as I already mentioned, um, for the open houses, it, it's a separate process. And I'll tell you an interesting story after this. Um, so we used, and Jennifer remember, and some agents who are longer with our team, they remember we used to uh, prepare to print out open house um, cards and choose the areas and door knocking the day before or the same day two hours prior to and using the script, hi, I'm Anna with the Jennifer Jones team. We are hosting the open house at this and this address today or tomorrow, 12 to 2 p.m. And we were, I'm wondering if you have somebody who is planning to move to this area or maybe your relatives, friends, co-workers. You're more than welcome to come yourself to have a look at and to bring your friends and family, right? And in this case, they will take a card. Like, there's nothing offensive. I'm not selling or something, right? So, um and inviting the, their friends, their neighbors, and usually they would come. So speaking about success stories, I was with the Century 21 Heritage in New Market. That's when I, when, where I started in 2004. And um, I borrowed another, another thing I want to mention. I did not have my own listings. So I borrowed the open houses from the successful, at that time, agents who had 10 listings, and they had no time, or maybe they did not want to, uh, to host open houses. And I would, at the beginning of the week, I would just shoot the, um, you know, text or email to uh, those agents asking, um, are you willing me to do the open house and this and this address? And if they say yes, take it. Then I would just start door knocking, introducing myself, inviting people. First open house I borrowed uh, in that office. I followed the script that the manager of that office provided to newbies, to new agents. I came to the, oh, it was a new market on Prospect Street. I came to the open house two hours prior. I started door knocking and introducing myself and inviting people. And one couple said, oh, can you tell me how much my house is worth? Well, it's semi-detached. And I said, you know what? I have no time right now. However, if you don't mind, I can stop by after the open house. How about uh, it was to twelve to th how about two thirty, and they agreed. And so after that, I came. I gave them the idea. They said that it's good price for them, and they agreed. And then sold and bought. So from open house of not even my listing, I've got two deals. That is how it's important to. Not just to come to the open house, put your sign, sit and wait. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so, yes, uh, 
and this is the success story that mentioned. Um, the other success stories also, you know, that even this year, I uh, got three deals from one open house, right? So it's very important to come around to introduce yourself and um, yeah, people remember it. And the other thing is like door knocking. I learned from um, Jennifer that, well, what if you do, do, do door knock and somebody opens the door and says, like, oh my God, I want to see guys, I've been sleeping. What the heck you want from me? We're so, so sorry. Just because we interrupted your uh, dream Please sleep. Please, here is our Tim Hortons car. Just maybe it will, the coffee will help you maybe to wake up when you drive to your work. It's $5 gift card. And you, you should see their faces. Actually, we did it with Samantha last week. However, like uh, one guy was like, no, 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 I don't need it. Okay, okay, that's okay. <laughs> right? And the other lady was a little bit rude. I don't need your cards. I said, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, next, please. The door opens and now what? <laughs> Introduce yourself. But uh, another thing is like, I always step back. Some people don't like being close, right? To the strangers, especially. I always step back a couple steps. And if there are steps, there's, I step down. So when the owner opens the door, he's kind of his control. His controller. And I'm just down asking him for favor. You understand? And th that's why, and then I said, oh, hi, always smile, always smile. Hi, I'm Anna with the Jennifer Jones team. Um, you know what? We just got the listing at this property, at, at this street, and we know that there are some buyers looking at this particular area. In the event, if this house is not uh, perfect for the new buyer, would you be considering to sell it, right? Something like that. Or would you have, like, would you have a buyer for the house? Because it could be your relatives or your friends. But we have to be quick and then, you, as I told you, using the script. And um, if they say no, 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 like I usually wait for five no's. And um, then we said, okay, thank you very much. I'm just, again, as a reminder, the market is going to change soon. So if you're thinking about this, here is my card. Trying to push the card. And when they start to ask the questions, I just listen. And then I record these questions uh, using my phone notepad i record the question okay you know what i will find it out and I'll let you know what's your email address would you prefer to me to send it by email or just to call you or text you this way you even can get their information right next please tips as i told already <laughs> tips and tricks really know the area Practice your scripts before going, even. We have all those scripts on, on Trailer. And if you decide to go and door knock around our just listed, practice the script just listed with anybody, with the team member, to feel it comfortable. And as we always talk about, mirror and match the person. Because if it's an old lady who opened the door and she's pretty slow and she is so soft, so we have to slow down and start to talk slowly so she understands us and always smile. Some really fast people, just like me or like Jay, and we fast, fast, fast. <laughs> right? Okay. So as I mentioned, I use the phone. Uh, just like say, I showed it to Samantha. As soon as the people say, yes, I would like to in two years, or no, I don't. Do. I just click on my recorder and say, 27, uh, Fairwood. Not planning at all, just bought two years ago. And next one, buy Fairwood. I'm thinking about selling next year. Send them the card, thank you card, and keep in touch. Something like that, right? So in this case, when you come after door knocking 60 or 100 houses, you will not remember the first ones. This record records, you come back home, you take notes, and then the time comes to send them thank you, uh, thank you cards, right? Okay, no, as, as usual, we load those leads into FAB. And uh, now in our case, FAB, if you have a different CRM uh, system, load it there um, and start to contact them. Sending, if they provided the, the email, sending them what's going on in the market in your area. Sometimes all of a sudden when they see how much the properties are selling for, they may change their decision. 
I'm talking to one guy right now, and I said, like, oh, yeah, I, like, I don't think we will get uh, this amount of money, so that's why we'll wait. I said, like, we will not find out if we don't try. You have an, a unique house, so it's uh, it's different from the other houses, and we get this money. The worst case scenario, you stay in your house. You don't lose your house. Nobody gets you out, right? Okay, next one. This is one of the cards like we have. I just the card you leave at the door if no answer. Sorry, I missed you today. I have a client that is seriously interested in buying a home in your neighborhood. If you've had any thoughts of selling this year, would you please call or text and let me know? And the last one, yes, that's these cards you can buy in dollar store. If not, maybe staples, right? I bought it in dollar stores, a store, and yeah, like you write down to, to people, you know the addresses. You have the note saying, like, these people are planning to go. I go to Geo Warehouse, I find the correct names, right? And I just like, thank you very much. Hi, Peter, thank you so much for. Uh, talking to me today after my uh, when I was door knocking and uh, hope to you know then you think I hope to help you to sell your house and to find the next one. Here is my card. And sometimes you, I send those again five dollars Tim Hortons card. That's what actually um, Ruben did. We door knocked together last week. Uh, he sent two cards and both people responded. I think I was not that annoying. Any questions? So good, Anna. How did you hear? Because I, I'm the, how was the sound? Could everybody understand? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Fantastic. So, yeah, so great, great, Anna. Thank you. Yeah, if anyone has any questions, if you can just uh, raise your hand and then... Uh... Wendy's there. Yes. Oh, Wendy, go ahead. <clears throat> Thanks, Anna. Um... When you're, when the people that you're sending your thank you cards to, have you gotten any other information from them other than the address? Like, do you ask them for phone numbers or email address or anything like that? Some of them provide it only in the event if they're interested in the future. Or I always ask, would you like to, even if you're not selling today or this year, would you be interested in watching the market? And if they say yes, I said, can I get your email address? I will start you like if it's. Uh, I will start you uh, as of today, as of yesterday. I will start you to send the market and uh, what's the market analysis, the new listings, the sold listings, right? Okay. We're not we're not allowed legally to sell the sold ones, right? But we can always kind of create an email saying like this one in your neighborhood was sold, was listed at this price and sold over asking. If you need the exact numbers, please check uh, Zolo. Okay. But I have the most important is I have their address and I find their names in the so so this is information is public information, right? Right. If, and if they're interested and in planning to sell, they usually respond. If right. not, well, okay. Very cool. I have a um not so much a question, but first of all, this was wonderful. Thank you, Anna, so much. Uh, very much like yourself, I've always loved door knocking, um, even in my commercial days. Um, they say even on the golf course, so much business happens because of the time that you're getting with somebody in person. Um, and I truly believe the ability to connect with somebody is tenfold um, in comparison with calls, but it's all great, right? So I have a great testimony to kind of back up exactly what you've been saying here and some of the great um, advice you've given just recently. I was door knocking, um, goodness, this was about a week and a half ago now, and it was based on a listing that had just popped up. So the next day I was out there. Everyone thought I was the listing agent. That's fine. That doesn't matter. Um, anyway, a week goes by and I'm in the library with my daughter. Um, and I had somebody run up to me being like, hi, Alex. 
And I looked over and I'm like, it took me a second. I was like, I know, I know you, I know, I know you. Of course, I've not door knocked like 50 doors by that day. She goes, oh yeah, you came to my, you came to my door uh, a week ago. And then it clicked. Now I had already written down every single unit number. And as soon as I leave, like on the driveway to my next door, every note that I can remember, she has one kid. She just moved there. Her kid's name is this, blah, 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 blah. So like I took a second, looked at her name. And uh, by the end of that library, hanging out with our children, she said, you know, I'd really love to to hang out sometime. Would you mind? Um, anyway, door knock again, like two different testimonies, but they're connected. Don't worry. Um, I knocked on a door and I had met, a girl had said, I've met you, Alex. I've met you at the playground with our kids. So I had knocked on a door of somebody that I had already met before. Now I'm connecting those two because they live down the street from each other and they both have little kids um, and, what and they both by chance have people that they know that are looking. So even though they're not looking, um, just yes. a great testimony of notes, connecting, connecting others, even if it's not related to real estate. And um, you've given some, me some great new tips here too. So thank you. Thank you. And the good thing to the new uh, agents, I always suggest door knock in your neighborhood. Just introducing yourself, right? Because people sometimes don't know. Don't be secret agent at first. Step. And the second one, as um, Jake mentioned last week during the morning call, he said the money are sitting in follow-ups. Because how many times people take the note, put them into the CRA, and forget about it? And if you don't follow up and they're planning to sell in six months, huh, why is it not me? Anna, thank you so, so much for uh, giving us your time and your wisdom this morning. It's so great. We're so very gra grateful. And everyone, make great things happen today. Have a fantastic day. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a believer. What goes around comes around. So, yes, Absolutely. anytime. Absolutely.